Hi, I'm Julia White. I'm senior curator for Asian art at the Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive. Together with Professor Emeritus James K. Hill, I organized this exhibition, Beauty Revealed, Images of Women in Qing Dynasty Chinese Painting. In the exhibition and accompanying catalog, we challenged the long-held notion that these are images of women of high status. Instead, we believe that they are actually paintings of courtesans. The painting behind me is uh, on loan from the Nelson Atkins Museum. It's by an anonymous artist of the 18th century, and it typifies the kinds of paintings that you'll find in this exhibition. It's painted in heavy mineral color with fine line and detail, and it belongs to a class of paintings that we believe are courtesan paintings. And the reason that we say that they are courtesans as opposed to high-born women is the way that these women present themselves. Um, they are shown almost life-size, and that is quite different from the uh, portraiture of earlier periods in China. They are also highly detailed as to the interior setting in which they're posed. In this case, the woman is seen inside of a library. The woman looks directly out at the viewer. That's one, one of the other major differences in terms of these types of paintings being different from standard portraiture. Most of these paintings were done probably on commission by professional artists. They're not done by the literati gentlemen, but they could also have been enjoyed by the literati class. However, it's during the uh, 17th and 18th century in Haiching, China, that we see a rise of a merchant class who is suddenly capable and interested in acquiring art for their homes and also for their private quarters. These kinds of paintings were probably not the kind of paintings that were viewed in, um, in the women's quarters, but rather in the men's quarters and probably in a very private sort of setting. So rather than hanging the painting on the wall and leaving it there for all to see, it was probably the kind of painting that was brought out for a particular occasion when the men could enjoy the company of this very elegantly dressed lady. This painting is by Zhang Zhen, who was a court painter during the Kangxi Emperor period. So in the late 17th century, he painted probably for the, the merchant class, as mentioned before, but also for the emperor. He established an entire um, atelier of artists. His son was also a painter for the imperial court, as was his grandson. In this painting, we see a woman peering out from a window. So she is within an interior space, looking out at two cats, one sitting on a rock, looking up towards her, and another smaller cat that she has her hand, her right hand on. She is looking at both of the animals in a thoughtful way, as if she's wondering about their own relationship to each other. Part of what we see in this painting is an important aspect of all of the paintings in this exhibition, and that is the artist's interest in interior depth. So rather than multi-point perspective, which we usually see within Chinese paintings, in these works, we're seeing a single point perspective. We also begin to see a kind of a voyeurism that occurs in these paintings, where the woman is in an interior setting and we, the viewer, are outside. Rather than arranging the paintings in chronological format, we decided it would be more interesting to um, divide the exhibition into different sections reflecting what the women are engaged in at the time of the painting, so that we see women in libraries reading, uh, women uh, waiting within the garden setting, or uh, in some more intimate scenes. Within the garden setting format, we see this painting by Gu Jianlong, who uh, painted this work of a woman in a garden in 1683. We know that because on the lower right-hand side, you can see a signature and his date on the painting. Uh, Gu Jianlong was an important portraitist of uh, the early Qing period. He was uh, known as uh, being very active in the city of Suzhou, which of course is a garden city. And so it's quite uh, understandable that he would place his lovely lady in a garden setting. She's seated on a rock uh, in a garden that seems to be overgrown and perhaps um, no longer a flourishing garden. This idea that the woman was left alone by a lover or is awaiting someone who is not going to return is a common theme within these uh, garden scenes. She raises her right hand to her chin in kind of a thoughtful way and looks out wistfully at the viewer. 
She also holds in her left hand a diaphanous fan, which is very beautifully rendered. It's important in all of these paintings to look very, very closely at the paintings because the detail is what makes them so absolutely beautiful. <laughs> 